Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and it is the first Tuesday of the month and you know what that means Unreal Engine developers, yes, ho ho ho, it's Christmas in October. Yep, the first Tuesday of every month, Unreal Engine for like the last two plus years have given away five free assets on the clock and generally one in the permanently free collection, that didn't happen this time. We've only got five free assets only, I guess we're kind of spoiled entitled children at this point in time, aren't we? But normally when there is no permanently free asset, that means there's going to be another announcement later in the month. So let's hope that trend stays true. So we're going to jump in and take a look at what those five free assets are. Now they are completely free, but the key thing is you do have to air quotes buy them before the first Tuesday of next month. Once they are yours though, they are yours forever. And what you see in front of you, well first off, this is Unreal Engine 5. I have trouble going back to Unreal Engine 4.x because it is so ugly compared to 5 in my opinion. And this is one of the assets. This is the cave pack. Everything you see to make the um, things you see here for this cave environment uh, are included in this pack. Uh, one of the things I really find interesting, we got some of this uh, really cryptic, uh, ancient hieroglyphs going on, such as tic-tac-toe, yeah, <laughs> and uh, upside down smiley faces from, or frowny faces from what I can tell. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's fun. Uh, so over here you can see kind of all of the assets here are part of the pack. I'll go ahead and showcase it. There's the overview here. It's actually not a lot of assets being used to create this, but everything you're seeing is of pretty high quality. Uh, and this is very easily used. Any kind of game, you drop in these assets, good to go. Uh, so that is this particular pack. Pretty straightforward on the whole. I was also going to showcase the horror dining room pack. Unfortunately, pack. Pap, uh, pack, but unfortunately, uh, it, it ends up looking like this in Unreal Engine 5, although I can showcase uh, some of the assets right here, because that's pretty much what this one is about. Now, this is a strangely specific pack in that it is assets to create a horror dining room. That is a weird mashup of things, but really, it's things you would use in a house. So you got things like old chairs, uh, dining room floors, um, fans and pots and pans and tables and uh, windows and so on. Things you would need to create kind of a gothic style environment. Uh, some nice, completely uncreepy art going on right here. Uh, you got what you're dealing with here. Again, everything here is of pretty high quality as well and should be easily dropped into your game. So those are two fairly straightforward asset packs. Let's go take a look at what else is included in this one as we head on over here. So we covered the first one, Fantasy Cave Environment Set. Pretty straightforward on the whole. Um, Everything here, uh, we've got uh, 4K color textures and 2K color textures. Also, uh, roughness, normal, and ambient occlusion maps. Uh, 26 meshes are in this pack. Works on pretty much every environment you could want. Uh, so definitely a nice one there. Uh, we saw that in action. So moving on. And we got the horror dining room pack. Uh, again, if you need to have a horrifying haunted dinner... <laughs> Uh, that's what this one is all about. It's basically pretty straightforward. Another asset pack in that kind of gothic -y style. Uh, this one is in uh, between 4 and 4300 vertices. Does it tell me the texture resolution? 4K. So again, ready to use in just about any fidelity that you're going to want. Uh, a couple of the things are public domain from the Met, by the way. Uh, so just one of those things to be aware of. Some of those textures, probably the one I showed you actually for that photo. That's where they came from. So those two are pretty straightforward on the whole. Next up, we have the Dismemberment and Bone Breaking Pack. Uh, yeah, so the ultimate Bone Break Dismemberment and Gore System, as you can see it going on here. Uh, multiple different damage states. Um, animation management there for the different injuries. So we have a fully network replicated full body damage system with individual bone health, 16 damage states, body part dismemberment, bone breaking, knockout system with replicated ragdoll in experimental form, physics based blended animation uh, based off of damage state, 300 plus animations, it's got zombie artificial intelligence built in there, uh, movement speed penalty system, 90 degree turn in place, uh, example weapon system, easy to customize animation, ragdoll death, 3D aim offset for two handed, one handed animation. Animation, walk, hop, crawl, one arm crawl. So basically, if you need to have um, dismemberment and bone breaking in your system, it is a set up ready to do that, including the animation systems required so that uh, you can simulate that fully. Next up, we have the Elite Landscapes Bundle Pack. A complete Elite Landscape Pack features 23 landscapes with 8K resolution and 7 matte painted quality sky panoramas. So 
you can see them here in action. Pretty straightforward on the whole. 8K resolution is always kind of nice, even if you just need a bunch of sky maps. Got some really high resolution stuff going on there. Included in the pack, we've got Desert 1, Alien Pack 1 and 2, Rocky Meadow, Rocky Hills, and Valley. 23 landscapes, 7 sky images, 24 levels with different light setups, 8K heat maps, basic landscape material. Uh, landscape heat map is 8K by 8K. Textures are mostly 4K. Some of them are 2K, and it has automatic LODs. Works on desktop and console. Pretty straightforward on the whole. And then we've got surface trails. Surface trail system allows you to capture trails from objects on a surface. As main usage example, there is snow landscape demo with characters and physics, objects leaving deformation trails trails after them. So pretty straightforward if you've got uh, footprints and such and you want to leave it in the space or here you can see uh, you can use it actually for lava. So it's for creating, um, you know, trails for where your character has previously gone. Uh, pretty useful on the whole, uh, but obviously pretty niche. Features include trails are captured and stored in some areas around player camera. So the system is independent from the map size. Uh, tunation of old trails can be configured. Trail shape is defined by spherical components with configurable hardness. So for definition of a box, for example, you need to attach several components to it. Um, then we've got actors are marked as trails, receivers by applying special tags to them. System can be used for a big variety of cases, trails on water, grass crumpling or any other surface VFX by dragging one material function into material. The snow landscape example included uh, includes photogrammetry based dirt material appearing under the snow. So if you need to have trails behind your character, that is what surface trails is all about. By the way, so that is the collection. If you want to grab it, head on over to the Unreal Engine um, marketplace. Go to free. Go to free for this month. As I mentioned, normally there is a permanently free edition. So you can find those under the permanently free collection. Uh, this month there was no edition. Though again, every single time they have done that in the past, something was offered later on in that month. So it'll be interesting to see if there'll be another video coming from me later this month. Uh, but again, free for this month, available right there. There is, however, something new. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. Also, I noticed um, I got a single receipt this time. So I added all five to my cart and did the checkout. That's what you need to do, by the way, basically add to cart, 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 check out, and then they are yours forever. You just gotta do this before the first Tuesday of November, 2021, and these assets will be yours forever. You head on over to your or um, the Epic Games Launcher, and they'll be available there for you to use. Um, I did get a single email receipt this time. I think I normally get five, so that's definitely a nice step forward. It doesn't spam the heck out of my email. Let me know if that's new or not. Uh, also, again, another freebie thing that's happened this month. It's got literally nothing to do with the giveaway, but this was announced yesterday, and it wasn't really enough to do news about, but just to be aware, they released Project Anywhere XR, a free example uh, project for mixed reality 3D geospatial visualization. So this came out, again, October the 4th. Another freebie from Unreal Engine. If you're working with uh, XR, um, this is example out there. It's a collaboration between NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Cesium, which were a um, Epic Mega Grant winner, by the way. And I've done a I've done a video on Cesium's technology if you want to check it out. It's a way of using real-world um, geospatial data inside of uh, Unreal Engine and other platforms. Uh, so this is uh, an example you can download. It works with the HoloLens 2. Um, it uses Unreal Engine's pixel streaming features and functionality. So it's available to download for free as an Unreal Engine sample project for you to explore, learn, and adapt on your own. Uh, features an interface developed using Microsoft's Mixed Reality Toolkit for Unreal, and it uses Cesium for Unreal Engine plugin. So if you want, that project is available as well. It is on the marketplace. You can grab it right here. Um, so yeah, that is it. That is, I, I guess we can look at that one as the other freebie. I don't think so. I think there will probably be something else, but do be aware they at launched the Project Anywhere XR free demo. So if you're working in that um, augmented reality space, this could be an interesting one for you. A little bit less to do with game development. Augmented reality is getting more and more used in you know visualization and scientific computing and that kind of stuff, uh, but definitely an interesting space nonetheless and another option you've got. So that is this month's free stuff. What do you think? So we've got the fantasy cave environment setting, the horror dining room setting, the dismemberment and bone breaking kit, the elite landscapes bundle pack, and the surface trails pack. Now, I normally ask you if there's something you would like to see a follow-up video on, but quite frankly, to be honest, this, this month's pretty straightforward. If there's something you really want to see, let me know. But again, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the... Uh, 
Dismemberment and Bone Breaking is probably the most interesting of the packs, but what it is is pretty straightforward. If you want to check it out, there is a showcase video that you can check out on that one. Probably, again, I think this is the most interesting asset in the bundle, uh, but I'd be interested. What do you think of this bundle, of these assets, and do you think we're going to see something more from Unreal Engine this month to make up for the lack of a permanently free, or do you think it's the Project Anywhere XR kit, which by the way is also available. Let me know what you think. Comments down below and happy Unreal Christmas in October. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.